Today's video, I'm going to show you how to align the timing marks for the crank and the cams on a 2010 Passat. Uh, I'll give you the models and years. Uh, this is the 2.0 turbo motor, okay, after a uh, timing chain tension of failure. I've, I've made another video on showing that. You're going to need some special tools to line these up because the cams are going to want to turn and it's pretty tricky to do. You need these little tool. It screws in. And this little notch here goes in the cam so the cams don't move. It just slides in on both. See how that is? And it locks it in there. And then once it's adjusted and you want to check it, you just pull them out. And then you obviously got to take these off. So you're going to need these two special tools. I'll put a link on those tools if you want to uh, get them. Okay. So basically, the top has a mark right here. And you'll see the little indentation there. You line it up with a different color um, link there. And you see this one, same thing over here with a different color link. Okay, and then there's one on the bottom. I'll show you that, I'm gonna lift the car up and show you that. Before I go any further, please like and subscribe to the video. I'm trying to build up the channel and I have tons of videos on all, all cars, all aspects of automotive. And um, I just wanna keep going. Okay, here's a new updated timing ch chain tensioner. All right, and then on the bottom, you're gonna see a different color link right here. All right, and that's, you see this mark right here? This mark is for this chain, you see the link? Different color link. And those are the three marks, the two up top and the one on the bottom. The secondary chain also should be aligned. This one it has a timing, this timing chain tensioner rarely ever fails. It's the secondary, but you see it has marks here. See the different color link? There, on the balance of shaft right here, see the indentation in a different link, and then you follow it to the other one. And the same thing, you see the, the notch and the different color link. And this has a mark with an arrow. The arrow has to be pointed straight down. Basically, like when you're looking at the engine, you see how the mark is, this, this mark, the yellow mark is straight down. Everything should be straight down. I like to line them all up. I don't like to like just just do the the, uh, the primary chain and then the others are, who knows, they could be off, you don't know. But this way you know everything is in line. And then this chain is the oil pump chain. This just goes on, it just goes on any gear. It doesn't get lined up. There's no, no, no alignment for that. I'll show you what it looks like with it installed. Okay, I just installed the arm. You put the uh, bolt there. And it's by a spring tension that rests right here on this stop right here. You see this? This little thing, this arm. It's a spring tension that puts tension on the uh, chain for the oil pump. And like I said, there's no timing marks. Okay, guys. Motor car not here. Another video. Any questions, leave them below. And I get back to them as soon as possible. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.